Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday, um, Friday the 18th, where we got a great Western Conference semi game going on. Right? Game six, Clippers up 102.99 on the Jazz, erasing what was like a 25 point lead. Crazy. So we'll have that in the background, and in the foreground will be this great break right here. Great break. 2021 Hit Parade six box high end basketball mixer, featuring a box of Hit Parade VIP basketball chairman edition. We've got a box of autographed uh, memorabilia, Hit Parade 3 Pete, which is this big box right here. And then two autographed basketball sneakers, two sneakers right here, and then two jerseys right over there. That's going to be a great break. Big thanks, everybody. Um, thanks to the folks who bought their spots straight up, and congrats again to the winners of those spots in those filler breaks. Thank you. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a six. Lucky seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Don down to Jonathan. One and a six, seven times for the teams. Two, three, four, Five, six, and seventh and final time. All right, seven, seven, and seven. After seven, we've got the Kings on top, all the way down to my Lakers. All right, Don with the Sacramento Kings, Jose with the Nuggets, Eric with the Bucks, Michael with the Heat, Don with the Suns, Michael with the Hawks. Jason with the Cavs, PJ with the Trailblazers, Gerald with the Hornets, James with the Bulls, Kevin with the Spurs, Gail with the Wizards, Brenton with the Sixers, Will with the Nets, PJ with the Raptors, Gail with the Timberwolves, Greg with the Magic, Danny with the Pacers, Ryan with the Pistons, Douglas with the Jazz, Greg with the Clippers, PJ with the Celtics, Gerald with the Pelicans, Tom with the Mavs, Don with the Grizz, Josh with the Knicks, Adam with the Warriors, Anthony with the Thunder, and Jonathan, you've got my Lakers. Could get a little Laker Joe Mojo, I hope. Let's sort by by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. So there, there was a little bit of a trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on a Friday night. Thanks, everybody, for hanging with us and watching. All right, let's see what we got. I think we're going to start with the jerseys first. Autographed basketball jersey, 72 out of 100. Series 21. And we'll play uh, we'll play some quick rounds of, of who am I. Oh, who am I? I thought, I thought that was covered or wrapped up in tissue paper or something like that. All right. All right. All right, who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. I think I guess this is my my listed yeah, my listed height and weight 72. 240 pounds. I don't know what jersey this is. It doesn't look like that team. Anyway, went to uh, Gardner Webb College for a couple years, then transferred to Jacksonville. Was the uh, was a seventh round pick in 1971. Do they had seven rounds? And then ended up. Uh, Ended up being in the Hall of Fame. ABA champion, six-time NBA, all-star, so on and so forth. Old school guy. I don't know. Is that that team's jersey? Yeah, it is. But then what did that team turn into?
I think this team, th this is his ABA gear. This was uh, this team was the only one of the two ABA teams, along with the Pacers, to play for the entire duration of the ABA without relocating, changing its name, or folding. So what, did this team turn into anything? These, this team was actually pretty good. I wonder if they'll bring basketball back. All right, so this will have to go to the team that that he played for the longest. Yeah, FSU's got it. It's Artis Gilmore in his Kentucky Colonels gear. So this is a uh, it's a custom jersey. All right, so there's no logos on there, but this is definitely the Kentucky Colonels colors. There's his number and Hall of Fame inscription right there. Yeah, FSU and Shin got it. Artis Gilmore. So the pro team he played for the longest was the uh, was the was is it Bulls or Spurs? No, Bulls for much. I can't math right now. Yeah, old school guy right here. Yeah, he played for seven seasons with the Chicago Bulls, five seasons with the Spurs. Nice artist, Gilmore. Chicago Bulls, that's going to go to James. James won that spot as well. this post-it note doesn't yeah it's kind of cool right old, old school guy next jersey all right who do we have here This is, uh, oh, this is a officially licensed jersey. Mitchell and Ness jersey, all right. All right, who am I? Another um, retired basketball player. Played small forward, shooting guard. Was a, was a lefty shooter. Was a lefty, Hall of Famer, four-time All-NBA player, five-time All-Star. Wore the number 17 my entire career with the uh, with the two different teams I played with. Now, he played three seasons, only three seasons with the Pacers, but spent 13 seasons with this other team. And that's the color of his jersey right here. 6'6", 200 pounds, went to St. John's College and was the seventh overall pick in the 1985 NBA draft. Try not to Google it. If you, I mean, if you, if you have to, you have to, but if you want to use your brains, go back to 1985. First round, seventh overall. Not Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was drafted way after 1985. Not John Havlicek. There you go, Shin. Chris Mullen. And in his, uh, look at the bright yellow of the Warriors, the old Warriors colors right there. All right, so there's a Hall of Fame inscription. Now, this is a Mitchell and Ness jersey, so it might be worth taking a look. And that's Adam S. with the Warriors. Oh, that's cool. So you got the, the NBA logo, man. 
You got the old hardwood classics patch there on the bottom. I think the, the retail tags are still on them. It's a pretty pricey jersey. Nice. All right, so Adam, just because I want to move on, I'm going to fold that nicely back into back into the bag. I don't know how to spell your last name off the top of my head. Clipper still up by six with 320 left. All right, so you can see these all sealed up right here. Wow. Patrick Beverly at hitting threes. Clutch threes. Wake up, Jazz. Make this a game seven. loudness, more crinkly loudness. All right. We got a basketball. It should be a photo right there. And a jersey. Three things in there. All right. Take a look at the uh, the eight by ten. Ooh, that's nice. Dwayne Wade. That's a cool shot of him right there too. Nice eight by ten photo. You got the authentication sticker right here. There's his autograph. That's pretty sweet. Um, Miami, that's gonna go to Michael Robinson with the Heat. I don't know if, he, if Michael Robinson is any relation to current Miami Heat. Duncan Robinson, but it's going to Michael. That's, again, that's a, that's a cool shot. Here's the moment. That's pretty sweet. All right, the jersey is kind of poking out here. And this player didn't work out on this team here. But it but worked out on the team that he was traded to. Any guesses here? So that's a Cavs jersey. That goes to Jason. That's right. Adam's got it. Kevin Porter Jr. This is, this is another officially licensed jersey. So you got the big Cavs logo up front. Nice. And again, Jason, I'm going to fold this up a lot nicer. Uh, when this break is over. This 
All right. Yeah, I think most of the time they're they're going to be authentic jerseys, which is which is awfully nice. I don't know if I have a name on this. I, w I want to play Who Am I with the basketball, but maybe maybe it'll, the game will turn into Guess the Auto. Usually they have a little sticker on the inside of the bag, but maybe it fell off. All right. Well, now it's turned into Guess the Auto. All right. Basketball, Never Flat Series. There's the commissioner's autograph right there, PSA. Oh, I think it goes this way. Guess the auto. What else does it have here? Oh, on the box. Good call. on the box. And not, it's not John Paxton, uh, which is who I thought it was. Same initials though. Um, let's see, uh, I was a two-time All-Star, 1983-84 All-NBA team, out of Dayton College, drafted by the Trailblazers, 12th overall. I think that is the team that I also played for the longest. Yeah, the card was just the, the, the Beckett card. I guess we could look up the number, but I'll show you in a second. So this will go to Portland. So this person played for nine seasons with Portland. This is who the basketball is going to go to. Ended my career with a few seasons in Boston. <laughs> my brother is John Paxson. Who we know from the Bulls. And then my father is... My father has the same name as me. So who's John Paxson's brother? I think you should ask him. What? No. It's his brother, Jim. There you go. Nice. All right. So that gym will go to Portland. And that will be for... For PJ. All right. So let me... Carefully put this away. And I'll, I'll wrap that up pretty carefully after the break. All right, sneakers. 89 out of 100. Wow, less than a minute left. And the Clippers up by 10 points. I can't believe this. I actually kind of stopped paying attention to the to the game. The Jazz were... Maybe that's what the Jazz did too. Stopped paying attention to the game. All right, who am I? Yeah, they really did blow it, Adam. All right, here's another old school basketball player. 
was active between 1976 and 1991. Wow. Played from 23 years old to 37 years old. Played in Italy in the last year of my career at 38. Wow. A Hall of Famer, eight-time All-Star, your 1982-83 scoring champion, three-time All-NBA, went to South Carolina. Drafted by... Drafted by the Bucks, but that's not where I spent the bulk of my career. Second round pick in 1976. Yeah, this game might get you, Jazz's coach fired. Any guesses? He played a season with Dallas late in his career. A couple seasons with Indianapolis after Milwaukee. So Milwaukee two seasons, Indianapolis two seasons. Then I guess I must have been traded to the team that I'm most known for. And a few years into being traded to that team, I was a scoring champion. This might be a tough one to guess. Let me, uh, let's just look at the shoe. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got him to sign a, a Puma shoe sneaker, which is pretty cool. I think the autograph will be pretty obvious when you see it. Let's take a look. These shoes, I love these shoes. These are, this is a really cool idea. Adjust my camera angle a little bit here. All right, so there's the JSA on the back right there. That's really cool. It's Hall of Famer Alex English. That's awesome. a size 10 and a half. I think he was bigger than a size 10 and a half. All right. A Alex English, who played 11 seasons with the Denver Nuggets. And Denver Nuggets. That goes to Jose. There you go. FSU on the board. With a Hall of Fame, with a spot that he won as well. There you go. Congrats, Jose. I'll, I'll repackage that nicely here, but let's keep moving on. No, nah, they didn't get game worn. I, I think this would be a lot more expensive. If they got game worn shoes. There, there's Sean Jasper pretending he's Clipper super fan. All right, this is pretty cool. All right. Um, shooting guard. Point guard, small forward, pretty versatile, 6'7", 195 pounds, 
a righty, four-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, and a 1993-94 All-Rookie. So I was drafted uh, third overall by by the Warriors, but this is not. They must have traded it because it's not the team that I ended up with in my first year. Kings of LA. Wait till you wait till you have one championship banner up in the rafters, Sean Jasby, before you start talking about Kings of LA. Jeez. The ones that the Clippers cover up every time they play home games. Yeah. Um, nice try though, Sean. Went to Memphis. Went to high school, Treadwell High School in Memphis, Tennessee. Went to college at Memphis. And I'm coaching in Memphis right now. Played a season with Miami at the end of my career. Before that, New York Knicks. Before that, I forgot that he spent five years with five seasons with Phoenix. But the first team I was with is the team that I played for the longest, six seasons. Yep. It's Penny Hardaway. Nice. And dust off your Terrence Mann cards, by the way. 39 points. Nice. That's pretty sick. Size eleven. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Penny Hardaway is a size eleven, but. That's awesome. Nice Penny Hardaway spent six seasons with Orlando, and that's the team he played for the longest. And that's going to go to Greg. There you go, Greg. Thanks for getting in. Like I said, I'll, I'll wrap this, rewrap all of this carefully before or after this video. But let's uh, let's move on to the last thing, which is going to be that. All right, so this is Hit Parade VIP Chairman Edition, Series 1, Box 74 out of 500. You heard C. Bomber bet LeBron, whoever got further this year, the other team had to leave Staples. Please. Staples is the, it was built by the Lakers. Known worldwide because of the Lakers. All right. All right, the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. What do we have here? Ooh, this is from uh, Eminence. Nice. It's out of 10. It's a nice low number. Rookie auto. Ooh. 9 out of 10. Eminence rookie auto. Tyler Hero. And when a hero comes along. Miami Heat. Michael Robinson. Here's to you, Michael Robinson. 
Nice finish. And there you go. That was a lot of fun. That was a high-end hit parade basketball mixer. Appreciate everybody getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for another one. Bye-bye.